The South African Medical Association has said the new Omicron variant of COVID-19 results in a mild disease. The association's chairwoman, Angelique Kodzi, said those infected do not suffer loss of taste or smell. She noted that the variant creates symptoms like sore muscles and tiredness and sometimes a slight cough. Angelique Kodzi added it would take two weeks to determine whether vaccinated people can contract the new strain of the virus. She said that although the new variant is highly transmissible, details currently available indicate that it is not serious. The Sri Lanka Medical Association says the country should be ready to tackle the variant as its entry cannot be prevented. There's a suspicion on the efficacy of the vaccines against the new variant. As the variant is spreading fast and has been detected in several countries, we are aware that its transmission rate is high. It's important to stick to the health guidelines to prevent us from contracting the virus. We must prepare for this by giving ourselves time to do this. We must remain extremely cautious about this. The facilities at hospitals must be strengthened. The people should take vaccines as well. As fear mounts over the Omicron variant, several countries are preparing for a state of emergency. What arrangements has Sri Lanka taken in this regard? We have received the Health Ministry's guidelines on the variant that is spreading rapidly in South Africa. We have banned travellers from six African countries starting from midnight today. We will continue to conduct PCR tests for everyone arriving in the country. If the situation worsens, the Health Ministry will issue the relevant guidelines. Fully vaccinated travellers can head to their homes immediately from the airport. Cases of the Omicron variant have been identified in Australia, UK, Germany, Israel, Italy and the Czech Republic after it was identified in South Africa this week. Israel is to ban foreigners from entering the country for two weeks after it confirmed one case of the Omicron mutation and has seven suspected cases. Australian health officials say they detected the Omicron coronavirus strain in the country today. This was detected in two fully vaccinated passengers who were tested after flying into Sydney from southern Africa. Netherlands has entered a partial lockdown. 61 people who arrived in the Netherlands from South Africa have tested positive for COVID-19. The World Health Organization says it will require about two weeks to identify the true nature of the new variant.